What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. This is Will Talk Entertainment, and today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, today we're going to do a little unboxing here. What you see here on my left is the S22 Ultra. Um, I just got this in a couple days ago. I ordered and paid for it myself. And what you see on my right is the Note 20 Ultra. This was released in uh, I believe August of 2020, so it's uh, approaching two years old. As many of you already know, um, they skipped the note for 2021 and uh, incorporate or combine the note and the S series to create the S22 Ultra with the stylus pen. So uh, we're just going to do a little bit of an unboxing here and um, we're not going to go too in depth with specs. Um, as you know, there's probably a million unboxing videos of this of this particular phone um what i ordered i ordered the uh the the black because i thought the black looked the best to me in terms of its uh the color and, and, the, and the matte finish um as you can see here the note 20 has a little bit of a matte this is the the note 20 ultra with the bronze finish and you can see the housing it still has a housing bump um, they went in a completely different direction this year. They removed the housing bump. Um, you still have the cameras, but you do not have the bump anymore. <gasps> All right, well, let's move forward with the unboxing. Take it out of this box. As you can see, these boxes have evolved into much smaller packages than what they used to be. Before, you used to get accessories. You get a charging brick along with the... Uh, you know, the USB cord. Now you pretty much get the, the phone. Um, let's see what else they come with now. They, oh, you have the SIM card ejector and you get your wireless uh, USB-C. So we don't have the USB, the old USB um, uh, plugins anymore. You have two USB-C on each end, so that'll be um, the the part that you plug into the charging brick. But you, unfortunately, you have to go and buy the charging brick. I'm not a fan of this. These phones are way too expensive for you to just get, um, you know, the, the connected wires without the charging brick. So I think that's trash. Um, so this is the black s22 ultra and i have to say it looks really nice uh i'm gonna put both the cameras as you can see there's the the raised housing of the note 20 ultra and there is the uh flat matte back finish of the s22 ultra i actually like this design a lot better because mainly because you know you don't have the rocking back and forth because of the way the housing was built on the note 20 ultra so we're gonna go ahead and take this plastic off. Ooh, feels really smooth. <laughs> it does feel really good in the hands. Uh, take the front plastic off and we're gonna go ahead and start her up. Hopefully she has a little bit of juice and she does, she's breathing. All right. So my plans are to uh, do a comparison. I'm actually taking, uh, filming this on an iPhone 11 Pro Max. So um, I plan to do a couple comparison videos with uh, the S22 Ultra, the iPhone, and I'm also planning to incorporate um, some a comparison video with the uh, uh, Google Pixel uh, Pro. So. Uh, the Google Pixel 6 Pro, excuse me, but uh, yeah, so um, that's what's that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hang on for this for a week, use this for a week, make this my daily driver, do some comparison pictures and video, and give you my thoughts on this phone and and tell you how well it performs. And so uh, we'll uh, I'll get back to you and let you know how the phone performs as I use it as my daily driver. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next video.